Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of Pokemon Crystal, that is blind by the way. Uh, in the last episode we got infected by something called Pokerest, which still is incredibly confusing to me and I haven't solved anything in my mind so far about it. I just... I, I, I think it might be Paul here that's um, infected with it, but I was hoping that it would state such in like... The in item scream or something. Okay, status. Okay. Now fly. Status. Status. Okay. <gasps> That's it. Okay, it's not Chiquitita. No, I don't want to Earth. I want to check out the status of my Pokemon. Okay. Is it because he's not evolved into Weezing? I don't get this. It has to be a storyline thing. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't seem to affect us anymore, so I'm happy. Uh, of course, if you know what it is, then comment on it. You probably didn't last episode anyway, but... Let's fight Brock! <laughs> Let's not think about Pokerus anymore, that was so confusing. Yo, champion making, you're really rocking. Are you battling the gym leaders of Kanto? Uh... Buddy, you've seen me in like six gyms so far in Kanto. You're a strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leaders. Are we supposed to go to this gym first? That's weird. The trainers of this gym use Rock-type Pokémon. The Rock-type has high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Boy... I got a Pokémon named Useless who knows how to Giga Drain. Aw, oh, Jerry. Huh, <laughs> cute. Sensish! Stashy! Sash! Oh, look at him. Weezing is so... or Weezing is so cute. Uh, I'm guessing that poison isn't necessarily strong versus ground type, it's more average or not very effective. Okay, lesson learned. Well, poison isn't effective against me either, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. I'm not your friend, gov. I'm not your gov, buddy. But whatever, we're gonna give uh, Huizong this victory too. It doesn't seem like it will be a problem. Uh, I'm guessing that we're gonna try to use uh, Zaytu versus Brock because Zaytu has uh, uh, psychic type moves. So maybe it can be like very effective against ground type. It's a possibility. Exaytu. Excite. Exaytu. Zaytu. Zatu. Zatu. Yeah, once again. Ooh, that's a critical hit. Slash seems to critically play it way more often than other moves. I just remember that from Generation 1. I always had a person that went around slashing people to death. Always had a person that means I had it one time. <laughs> Good job, Huizong! I have to win these battles. Yeah, you do. You gotta stop them before they re reach Brock. Hey, you! Trainer from Johto! Brock is tough! He'll punish you if you don't take- Ooh, he'll punish me, will he? <laughs> Anyway, let's try out Paul. Oh, punish me. I just like that. Oh, it's level 17. Never mind, but we're gonna give him some experience points then. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenge here from Johto. I'm Brock, the Peter Pewter Gym Leader. I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on, Ash. I mean, Lash. Ash. Lash. Same sh sound, you know? Wow, five Pokemon. Impressive. Aw, oh, Graveler. Should be easy peasy. Go, Paul! Well, it's not like I'm gonna take a chance here on you actually making it or making the cuts. We're just gonna switch, 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 switch out to Chiquitita. That was difficult to say. Oh, Rock Slider is a grass type Pokemon. Should be fine, right? Yeah. Race Relief, on the other hand, versus a ground-type Pokémon. Good luck, ground-type Pokémon. You'll slaughter. Oh yeah, because it traded, yeah. <laughs> I was like, boosted? Yeah, that's right. Because it's like the same with Miles. Okay, an Onyx. Uh, maybe gonna keep training... Um... Let's see if Useless can handle this one on its own. Probably. 
go useless. Aw, useless is over 100 HP now. That's cute. <laughs> it's cute when Pokemon have low HP. Booyah! One hit KO! No problem for useless. I should change his name to use slightly useful. Sleuthful. Covetops, really? Well, I'm gonna give useless another try. Covetops, I want that Covetops. I always thought it looked so cool. Well, I heard from my brother who trained him once that it was actually pretty useless, unfortunately. I usually chose Omanite anyway, because I like water type Pokemon so much. I don't know why, I just realized during this playthrough that I have a, like a weak spot for water type Pokemon. I don't get it! Are they all so cool? Well, apparently they are. Oh, almost level up. Do you have an Aerodactyl too? No, a Rhyhorn, how boring. Rhyhorn! <laughs> do 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 do. Oh, I'm so so worried about that Pokerus thing. I have no idea what it is. It's not scary, but it doesn't do anything. And if it, I've just been thinking that if Professor Elm says it doesn't do anything, it'll just go away on its own. I'm guessing it just weakens my stats for like a bit. Maybe because I traded a Pokemon. Maybe it's like um, it's supposed to be like an anti-trading measure that you're not supposed to trade like very good Pokemon all the way in the beginning of the game. I'm guessing. I don't know. Like it's one of the possibilities, if you ask me. So, like, since I traded that Pokemon, the game is, like, punishing me for a few days by weakening that Pokemon's stats, since it has an increased, uh, uh, increased experience boost. Because, I mean, it has to be something about uh, that Xatu I got, since it had, uh, it just got traded, and then we got, like, hey, you have Pokerus. And Brock was a huge pushover, pushover. Ah, your Pokemon... Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock-hard defenses. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. It's not even called anything badge, it's just a badge. Oh yeah, Baller, Boulder badge. Never mind. Lars, thanks! I enjoy that. Or enjoyed battling with you. Even though I'm a bit upset, that Boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. The world is huge! There are still many strong trainers like you. Just wait and see. I'm going to become a lot stronger, too! Okay, two Pokémon trainers left. It's supposed to be like, uh... Giovanni and... Cinnabar Island, but the gym on Cinnabar Island was gone for some reason. Super annoying. Could have told me that earlier. Do I still have Pokerus Lady? I hope not. She didn't say that the last time I healed, so... Another thing I'm hoping is that since they play so much um, concentration on days, is that she told me I had Pokerus exactly two minutes before midnight. And now she's not saying I have it anymore, it's like ten minutes past midnight. So hopefully, it just means it's gone. That would be kind of nice. Uh, but let's see, is this... Is, oh, is this Viridian Forest now? Uh, I don't want a max potion. Who cares? <coughs> I don't want a potion made of mock max. <laughs> I'm so funny. But is this supposed to be Viridian Forest? I just skipped an entire dungeon? Well, actually, I don't mind. I mean, it was super annoying, so... Dire Hits! What is that? I want to have to pick it up. So I can probably throw away... What about this ap apricorns? I don't need them, do I? Dire head. It looks, or it sounds like there is like um, a curiosity plus item move. Maybe we can give that to Coughings, or no, I mean the song. Ugh, no. Where are we? What is this place? Hello, you wanna battle me? Why don't girls like bug Pokemon? I don't know. I guess I don't like worms. Yeah. <laughs> But I got your dog with one Pokemon wants to battle. This will be adorable. Oh, isn't Ah, that is adorable, actually. Mm. Oh god, no, that's the wrong Pokemon. I guess. Shouldn't flying be effective versus Ariados? I'm just gonna give it a shot. It did some damage. Ooh, look at this guy. He's doing a good job. 
Go Paul! <laughs> I love that, like, in the beginning I captured a polywag that I named Paulie, and now we got a Zeta named Paul. It seems like that name is, like, really common. Oh, there we go. Bye-bye, Paul, I guess. I love how Paul is quicker than Ariados. Let's see, it depends what... Oh, that's good, isn't it? That's good. That means that Paul will actually defeat this Ariados on his own, right? Because he will fly up first, and he'll attack and miss, and then you'll attack and kill him, and... You don't have to take that last attack from him, right? Yeah! Good job, uh, Paul! I'm super proud of you. And you gained so much experience points, that's crazy. <laughs> no good! You're no good. Bug Pokemon squish like plush toys when you squeeze your bellies. I love how they feel. That sounds like something a crazy kid would say, like, oh... Uh, the puppy's eyes go out of their sockets when you squeeze them hard. It's fun! My bug Pokemon are tough. Prepare to lose. Well, I have a bad track record versus grass or bug-type Pokemon, so I'm not gonna disagree with you. But... I'm gonna place money on myself. I'm gonna bet on myself that I win this match. Sorry, Beedrill, but I'm just gonna be honest. But it's not gonna be Paul who battles uh, Beedrill, that's for sure. It's gonna be... Chikichita! Oh, wait, that's useless, not Chikitita. Never mind! Oh, that's that's dumb of me. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, There we go, Chikitita. I just went by the... Um, oddish, uh, you know... Sprites. But it turned out to be the one for Pokémon. Whoops. Look at this, it does so much damage. So just sit on that Beedrill. Crush it to death and glory. Or something. <clears throat> Paul still gains a lot of experience points. Chikatita not, not the so much. Uh, Butterfree, I'm not gonna care. We're just gonna use Chikatita and kill it. I just wanna get to Palatown. Ding gong is the same sound as it had in Generation 1. That's cute. Butterfree! Free! Free! He is butter free. It's free of butter. Pretty healthy. I was whipped, so you wish you were whipped. I can whip you at night, though. I'm going to look for stronger bug Pokemon. Go talk to Bugsy as an annoying Pokemon that you can use. Um. Okay, we can just take a look see in here. Elixir. Yeah, okay. Could be worse. Could be Carbos. I mean, I never picked those up. I know no, that's stupid of me, but you know. It's my life! Okay, we were in this place, weren't we? There was, like, Professor Aids. No, Professor Oak's aide, who was like, Hey, you stupid kid, go do this and that, and just be blah blah blah. We're to Viridian City, Pewter City. Welcome to Viridian City, the gateway to Indigo Plateau. Hey, kid! I just had a double shot of espresso, and I am fired! I need to talk to someone, so you'll have to do. I might not look like much now, but I was an expert at capturing Pokémon. Do you believe me? Yeah. Good, good. Yes, I was something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. What if I don't believe you? What do you say, then? Are gonna show me how to catch a Weedle? Hehe. <laughs> what? You little whelp! If I were just a bit younger, I'd show you a thing or two. <laughs> Can we do the gym challenge now? This gym didn't have a leader until recently. A young man from Pallet came became the leader, but he's off and away. Oh, uh, so it's leader dot dot dot. The rest of the text is Ill illegible, illegible. So is the character from Generation is Professor o No Young Man. Do you put a lot of thought into naming your Pokemon? Giving them good nicknames adds the fun of trading with others. Yeah, like Paul. <laughs> There's Sperry, a Sparrow, and Ratty, a Rattata. Well, you're not gonna get a prize for creativity anytime soon, young lady. Oh, is it the school again? Mm, yeah, it is. Trainer house, and used in most happening place in Viridian. We're open to trainers only. You can battle against the best of the best right downstairs. 
Lash, good evening. It's me, Gavin. How are you doing? Let's battle. I'll be waiting on Route 26. Give me a shout when you're close. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, okay. Can I battle you? Viridian is the town closest to Indigo Plateau. They built this place because so many trainers passed through on their way to Indigo Plateau. Let's repeat Indigo Plateau one more time. I guess you can't beat the champ unless you go all over the place and battle all kinds of people. The champion from Palace traveled to all the cities and towns in Kancho. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm taking a risk from Pokemon battles. There's downstairs, okay. The old practice battles downstairs here. I would love to see how well a trainer from Johto battles. Girl, you have no idea. Practice battles are held down in a training hall downstairs. Skilled trainers are invited to participate. Is this like the battle house thing? There are no rules or regulations for practice matches. Just like in field battles, anything goes. Even guns. Hi, welcome to our training hall. You may battle a trainer once per day. Cal is your opponent today. Would you like to battle? Sure. Why only one trainer per day? Oh, creepy, that's me. I traveled out here just so I could battle you! Creepy! Who is this guy? That is seriously myself. Okay. Pokemon Trainer Cal wants to battle by sending out a Meganium. Oh, a Chiquitita! Level 50. Damn, that's gonna be difficult. Certainly not gonna be a walk in the park. Okay, we're gonna give the slow ma a shot here. <laughs> I guess. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I guess it's all with the Chikatita. How was I supposed to know that this battle will be so difficult? Come on, Chikatita. Show Chikatita who's the boss. <laughs> That's a battle of the body slams. Well, I guess I'm gonna be the winner because... Oh, uh, critical hit. Screw you. Whoops, no, sorry. Oh, come on! Does he have the exact same, mm, like, moves as me? Well, I guess he doesn't have cut, to be honest, but, uh... Pull Groot level 21! Holy strength, learn teleport. Nope. Nope. Yes. Stop learning teleport. Never gonna happen in your life. Pokemon trainer Cal is about to use Typhlosion. Um, uh, pretty sure we face that with Mary Jo. It's the fire type starter. Yeah, it is. It probably has all three starters, of course. Which means we can finally use Sea Queen to its, uh, her fullest extent. Probably gonna take two or three surfs. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, she will be able to take down to Flotion. Unless it critical hits. Or you could critical hit her, Sea Queen. Yeah, thank you. Or you didn't even have to. Never mind. Sea Queen gained a lot of experience points in Groot level 37. Pokemon Trainer Cal is about to use Feraligatr. Uh, I'm gonna assume that this is the. Um, that this is the water type, or yeah. Well, I could have used Useless. That was stupid of me, but whatever. I guess Chikatito needs some love once in a while, too. Cut him open! One hit KO! No wonder. Since Chikatito is so awesome. Pokemon Trainer Cal is defeated. I lost. Darn. Ooh, 5,000 Poké Dollars. That's neato. I'm sorry, this would be your second time today. You were permitted to enter just once a day. Okay, interesting battle. A lot of experience points, for an example. Hey, you saw me battle now. Can you give me some item? No, okay. Never mind then. 
Okay, interesting little house. At least we gain experience points can, can like, compare to that battle house shit that was earlier. Whoops. I swore again. Uh, but let's heal up here and go for the gym. My dream is to become a gym leader. Well, what you gotta do then is focus on one type of Pokemon and then just go crazy. I heard that the gym in Cinnabar is gone. I wonder what will become of Blaine, the gym leader. Somebody please tell me? Where in the world is Origin the gym leader? I want to challenge him. Uh, he's not here, is he? So I'm missing like two Pokemon badges from the, um, this area. And both of them are gone. How does that make sense? It doesn't, right? Well, we need to check it out before we can trust people, though. Maybe he is here. Well, we're not going to go to the Indigo Plateau, though. But you can surf here and see what kind of uh, Pokémon we can catch here. Oh, that guy is still caught in uh, that area. How cute. And slightly disturbing. Ba -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, an ordinary polywag. Never mind then. Level 7, that's adorable. Kill it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to try out Psychic. Oh, that was a quick defeat. But hey, at least Paul gained a boost at 150 experience points. <laughs> oh, I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream weird, huh? Huh? What's this? Where did this TM come from? Hey, this is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. I guess it's Dream Eater? Yeah. Same as in Generation 1 then, right? Like, not that useful. Because I never really put Pokemon to sleep. Voluntarily. I had there many items on the ground in Radiant Forest. Ugh, I'm not gonna go back there and check. Not desperate enough. Oh yeah, that was a nickname house with, uh, Sperry and Ratty. <laughs> Just like, it sounds like a bunch of nicknames for like, uh, American-Italian mobsters in the 50s. Yo, Sperry! You got a car to get away with the body? That's my best Italian impression, by the way, or Italian-American impression. Well, at least they changed the gym's uh, look here, which is really nice. Oh, and the gym leader is gone, of course he is. This looks like Lego blocks. Interesting. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to go to Pallet Town then. There's like nothing for us here in Viridian City. Ah, oh, Route 1. Really a trainer? If trainers meet, the first thing they do is battle. When lovers meet, the first thing they do is to embrace and hug and kiss Schoolboy Danny. Why does a schoolboy have Jinx? I want the Jinx. That's so unfair. Take some nightshade there, Jinx. Oh, powder snow, what is that? Okay, it's apparently a damaging move. Well, I'm sorry, Paul. I didn't know that you were weak versus, uh... Oops, that's useless. I didn't know that you were weak versus ice. I didn't know you were a grass-type Pokémon, but I just sent out. <laughs> sorry, once again. At least you put Jinx to sleep. Snore, snore. Snore, snore. Giga Drain should be super ineffective then, shouldn't it? Whoops. Hey, but we have Slow Ma. Snore, snore. Snore, snore. Aw, oh, Jinx is so cute. Sloma, I choose you with Ember. You gotta be useful for something once in a while, so... I guess I type, Ice type Pokemon is uh, your way of being useful. Burn, Jinx, burn! Yeah, super effective is a strong word, but, uh, hey, at least Jinx is a very heavy sleeper. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Good job, Soma. 
And I guess you're also useless. <laughs> in a way. Electabuzz. Damn it, do you have an Electab- Like, do you have so many weird Pokémon? That's so cool. So you had a Jinx, you have a Lickitabuzz, you probably have a Magmar then. Or uh, maybe a Lickitung? <coughs> or a Tangela? I'm gonna go with um, Magmar. So he has like one type each with like no different uh, like generations, only like a non-evolution Pokemon. Well, I learned that they have baby Pokemon. Yeah, Magmar, I'm a psychic. Sea Queen. Because I learned that all of these Pokemon now have baby Pokemon that look really ugly, or most of them do at least. <clears throat> One of them, like Jinx's baby form, is named Smoochum. Or Smoochum? And that is seriously the most adorable name I've ever heard in my entire life. To be blunt with you. Like, I could definitely name a pet that I own for Smoochum. But hey, Schoolboy Danny, or whatever your name was, you're actually an impressive trainer. You had a diverse team of good Pokémon. Aw, I got a losing record. For trainers, it's a given that we'll battle whenever we meet. I never quite understood that part about Pokémon uh, culture. Why can't we all be friends? Hello, Lass, or something. You there! Wanna battle? Do I have a choice? This looks like a cool trainer. Quinn. I've been Ivysaur, what a weird Pokemon mix. Well, okay, I learned that you can't poison Ivysaur or Bulbasaur, but we can sleep for Polo make them fall asleep and put on Sloma to make him uh, burn him to death, so Useless is doing her job right now. Soon level 40, damn, that's my at least definitely my second highest level Pokemon. Crazy! I wonder how sleep powder works. That would be kind of nice when you're like... You really need to sleep but you can't because you're like nervous or... Scared or not scared. But like when you have like a lot of your on your mind. When you're like in heavy thinking mode. Not drinking mode, but heavy thinking mode. That would be nice with some sleep powder. Amber, Ivysaur, up! Two more, and you have one. Oh, thank you, Slow Ma, for not... for just ignoring the Sleep Powder. Thank you! One more Ember now, and you're through. Okay, and I guess we can't use a Poke Flute, so this will suck. <clears throat> but hey, at least it's not a uh, Water Gun or something. I mean, th these race reliefs should just burn to a crisp whenever they touch Sloma's body. Holy crap. Oh, thank you! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I didn't expect you to wake up so early. That's great. Yes, as per usual, gained a lot of experience points, as did Sloma. A Starmie. Uh, we're gonna change Pokemon, we're just gonna give uh, Sloma some experience points, which reaches level 30. So, there we go, then switch out to Chiquitita. Who will, per usual, do double duty and uh, take a lot of hit points. Uh... Oh, Bubble Beam, that's a cute move. Can you imagine, like, a beam of bubbles? How very little effective that would be versus a big Pokémon? Or versus anyone that doesn't... who isn't made of fire? I, gu I guess I can understand Charmander, Tremeleon, and Charizard, but that's about it. And Slugma, I guess. Enough bubble beams, and it will eventually harden to death, so... Slow Margaret level 30! Cool Trainer Quinn was defeated! Down and out! You're strong. You're obviously... you obviously must have trained hard. Yeah, it's all about training, baby. Can we face a Pikachu here? Oh, we're in Palatown, how cute is this? Hey, Mom! Can we sleep here? Red's house. Oh, so he's named Red, actually, in this game. That's cute. <clears throat> Hi! Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say that no word is proof that he's doing fine, but I do worry about him. Can I sleep in his bed? Does he still have his nest? No, he's Nintendo 64. 
<laughs> I love that you can just go into a stranger's kid's house and play his video game consoles in this game with, like, no repercussions at all. It's just A-OK. -okay. I'm now imagining Red just being dead somewhere. Hi! My kid brother is a gym leader. Oh! So Blue is leader of Meridian City. But he goes out of town so often it causes the problems for the trainers. Interesting. Can I call him back? Hello, Professor Oak. The Professor's Pokemon Talk radio program isn't aired here in Kanto. It's a shame. I'd like to hear it. Thanks to your work on the Pokedex, the Professor's research is coming along great. Do -do. Don't tell anyone, but Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk isn't a live broadcast. Figures. Ah, Lash, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard, but the experience is sure to help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep trying hard, Lash. How's your Pokedex coming along? Let's see. Current pick. Blah, 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 blah. Professor Oak's rating. You're trying. I can see that. Your Pokedex is coming together. If you're in the area, I hope you come and visit again. Yeah, screw you. Is that rude? Ooh, an email. Professor Oak, how is your research coming along? I'm still plugging away. I heard rumors that Lash is getting re quite a reputation. I'm delighted to hear that. Um, <laughs> is that a smiley face? <laughs> I love it. Professor Elm, you're just like my favorite new email person ever. Send an email to me, please. Technology is incredible! You can now trade Pokémon across time like email. Okay... What is that supposed to mean? Okay, um... I'm still a bit confused what to do next, considering that both Blaine and Blue is gone, but at least we're gonna head to Cinnabar Island to just... figure out maybe there are some clues about what happened to Blaine. Maybe we can find him, and then Blue will be back, I guess, when we get all other seven badges. That's my idea, at least. So, I guess we're gonna... First of all, actually, fly back to sure, the Indigo Plateau, I don't really care. But then fly back to Pallet Down after we heal up, because I kind of need to heal my Pokémon up while we still can. Hello, Joycey. And at least we don't hear anything else about Pokerest, because it still scares me a bit. Like, are my Pokémon living on borrowed borrow, borrow, borrow time? Hope not. At least Nurse Joy doesn't wreck it or talk about the poke rust anymore. Pull, fly. Yeah, I want to fly to. There we go, Pallet Town. Okay, so that's been it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. I have been a Biting Gamer. Thank you for joining me, and goodbye!